Oh my god. What the f Hello and welcome back to Karma Craft episode number 10. I am back here on a server. I'm going to do a few updates and then go into something. The first thing I would like to mention is the beacon. Look at it, it's rainbow. Oh my gosh, that was so fun to do. I turned the beacon rainbow because I thought it'd be funny and I wanted to, you know, add life to the spawn. I, I don't know how this adds life, but I. I just thought it'd be funny basically and so I so I did it. I'll be adding a, a time lapse of me doing it. Ooh, get ready for another time lapse. Here we go. Time lapse hype. No 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 no. Yeah. Say bye bye blue. Bye. Oh, it's yellow. So I'm about halfway done. I've used half of my glass. I've never seen the spawn area from this this high. I just realized how the heck am I gonna get down? There's no way down. Okay, I'm gonna have to water puck it down. Oh my god, I don't want my 16th death. There's no way I can jump over there. I'm not, I'm not looking forward to do this. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 I'm lagging, I'm lagging. Oh, I did it. I survived. So that was the clip from me messing around with the beacon. I did extend the beacon even more higher off camera just because I did not do it high enough so the rest of the beacon was below or something but I managed to finish the whole beacon and it goes all the way up to like 256 blocks high I think I'm not quite sure but it took a while but it was definitely worth it I mean look at it it's so cool I absolutely love it the next clip is going to be me kind of reacting to my house. I don't know if it got pranked or not, but hey, you'll see what it looks like. If it's a prank, then, oh my gosh, that is a prank. I would say taken too far. Today, I'm in a mood. I'm not very, I'm not, not very happy because if you look at my house, it seems to be, um, seems to be, I don't even know what happened to this. I literally came onto the server, you know, doing my own thing, coming out of the ice bike spam, which I'll be going to soon, and I just come along and notice there's missing trees, then I see this massive chunk missing from my house, and I'm just like, wait, what the heck happened? I don't know if I've been pranked. Originally, I thought it was lightning, but because I have a stone roof, you know, lightning can't set fire to stone, so... Looks like someone burnt down my house and I'm not very happy. I'm gonna ask around later when the other members come online. I'll be like, yo, which one of you, you know, did something a little bit cheeky with my house? But I don't know. I don't know what happened to this. It's definitely not a creeper because a, a, a creeper doesn't just. I, I don't even know. It's so weird. But that's not all the damage. There's loads of missing trees. Look at that. There's creeper holes here. What the heck? No, that's really bad. Okay, so it's, um, I can't even speak now because I'm so mad. Okay, so there's mi oh, I don't even know what it is. There's missing trees, kind of. Except I don't. Oh my god, what the heck? Look at this. Are you serious right now? Why is there missing trees everywhere? Someone must have done this to me. But I don't know. I'm not gonna, you know, make the whole episode about 
my area getting burnt down. The server was turned into a bucket server, then it went back to vanilla, but during that process, the nether was reset. Uh, it doesn't look like this right now because people have, you know, got their tunnels going back to their areas. This one actually goes to the ice spike biome. This just leads out of here, and this one leads to Sam's portal. Uh, this one actually leads to nowhere yet, so I, I actually need to block this off because I tried uh, getting a portal going somewhere, but there was lava along the way and it almost killed me, so I couldn't be bothered. The reason why this episode came out is coming out later is because in the last episode I was doing biome hunting. That's how I found, what do you call it, the ice spikes biome, but the footage was kind of a bit of a... I didn't really want to use it because obviously the nether got reset and it just wouldn't have made sense so I just went ahead and just you know did my thing and got the ice spike spam portal back me and bacon also found a mesa and a savannah with really good villagers that you know sell um what do you call it sell mending books for emeralds which is awesome uh, we also started working on a blaze spawner but unfortunately the blaze spawner is gone it got reset I know that Bailey has built one, which is absolutely awesome. So that kind of makes up for the whole missing blaze spawner. A little bit sad about it though. So yeah, that's why this episode has come out a little bit later. So I'm currently running around in ice spikes, but um, I found the other day, I built a fish farm in ice spikes, but because last week I was stuck here for a couple of days and I got, I got kind of bored and I thought, why not build a fish farm and it actually works it's absolutely great you just gotta keep the right click button down and all the fish automatically get put into a chest to the left of where i'm standing and currently there's not much in here just because i emptied it but you get some pretty good stuff which is absolutely awesome i did have issues with the water freezing but i put lava on the sides so the water never really freezes anymore and i put some torches around so that makes up for it. I've got access to like so much. Why have you called this ice? Packed ice, frozen ice, ice, I don't know. But it's awesome. Uh, I've built a little shack, which is temp. I've got like chest with some random stuff in and so on. Bacon is asking if I'm sad. Well, I'm not very happy about my house. So eh, I wouldn't say sad, eh, a little bit sad, I guess, but oh well. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be doing in the ice bikes biome. I know there's a mesa all the way over there. I should actually go over there. I might actually go there right now. So just over 200 blocks away from my base in the ice bikes biome. If you run straight behind my base, there's a whole mesa biome which is absolutely awesome. Oh my god, it's great. I need to collect some hardened clay because I haven't done that yet. But I don't think this mesa biome is that big. I mean, it has enough clay for myself and, well, there's plenty of clay. I'm sure there's enough clay for everyone. I mean, it's not the biggest mesa biome, but it's a, it's a, it's great for just getting clay, I guess. Oh, no. I, I mean, it's, I guess it's big. I guess it's just a little bit, but hey, gotta, gotta love the, gotta love the clay because I've been wanting this for a while and I finally got it. I haven't actually explored the ocean yet. I don't know if there's any other biomes that are good, like a jungle mushroom uh i don't i don't know if there's any other biomes i want i just want a mushroom one and a jungle one but it's about it but it's awesome that ice spikes biome and a mesa biome are just next to each other so i can come here collect all the resources i want which is absolutely amazing so i'm going to be ending off the episode here i apologize if it's too short and too snappy and all the different shots are kind of random and don't make sense i kind of just put this video together last minute i'm still a little bit annoyed about my house i don't know if i'll still be continuing this series but whatever we'll see what happens i'll see you guys in the next minecraft video hello and welcome to the first episode ever on the karma craft smp i've put a little sign saying Shunyu's habitat. I don't know what else I'm gonna put in here. Potentially pigs and potentially cows. There's loads of horrible mobs. Ah. <gasps> oh, which is absolutely an annoying. 
Wait, what the hell? That skeleton has got my sword! What the hell? I honestly don't know what the heck I've just done. I've always wanted to get a... What the f***? What the f***? 